Out here on this stormy day, past some linemen working, made me think about linemen appreciation and how we just take it for granted. We don't ever think about it. Power goes out, we expect it to come back on right now. We got these men out here. They've got to be able to focus to do this daunting task. Very dangerous electricity. The old timers used to tell me electricity is like a rattlesnake without a rattle. You never know it's there until it gets you. And there's a lot of truth in that. Uh, I am in the tree business. I've been in the tree business a long time, but a long time ago I was a lineman. And I believe I got into the IBW in 1999 and I still carry a ticket. So I have an intimate inside look at what it takes to do the work. When, in 1999, there was a man named Glenn Hatley who had two hooks on his hands because he got his arms burned off being electrocuted. And Glenn Hatley came to me as a young man. He was a very bitter man because of what happened to him. And he, I was sitting at a table eating my lunch and he slammed those hooks, bang, right on the table in front of me. And he said, boy, if you don't want your wife to have to wipe your ass, you better listen to what these men tell you. He said, and when you think you know, you don't know. At 10 years, you're a seasoned lineman. Between seven and 10 years, you're the most dangerous you will ever be because you have knowledge and no experience. And knowledge without experience will make your hands work faster than your mind. When your hands outrun your mind, it's a recipe for a disaster. I took what that man said to heart. He said, every safety rule we have here is written in blood and some of that blood is mine. I don't know if Glenn's still alive, but he probably saved my life along the way at some point. I don't know other men I work with, Bobby Schott, uh, just a tremendous, tremendous hand. When they call you a hand in line work, that means something. That if somebody starts referring to you as a hand, that means you're getting something done. I don't know if I ever made it to that level, but I sure hope I did. If you see these guys out working, they're gonna be out in the middle of the night when you're in bed a lot of times in the rain running down their neck. They're wearing rubber gloves that are 10 times thicker than a dish glove. Have to use dexterity, put together small connections, all that under artificial light, all that with the rain coming down their necks and the rain gear. They used to say all the time, you better get comfortable being uncomfortable because this trade is about that. Any young person, man or woman that thinks they have a little grit and is looking for a great career. I think a lineman around here right now makes $50 an hour or more on straight time. Anything outside of 40 hours is overtime. You can make a lot of money doing it. You can hold your head high and there is a romance to the work. There really is, it drew me to it. I I felt like I was home, like just to, just to know that you have this ability and capability of doing something that not many people can do. Uh, Steve Walker, another great, great lineman, definitely a hand. He always said that to me. He kept retiring and coming back, retiring and coming back. And he said, I just can't get away from it, son. It's just the romance of the work. Anyways, lineman appreciation. If I see one out today working, I'm sure going to stop. I think I'll go get him some coffee and take it to him because I like my lights to be on for sure. Thanks for watching.